Our reflection today is titled, Enter Through the Narrow Gate and Find Life. The Reflection, Gospel Peace. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction. And those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. And those who find it are few. Of the three quotations in today's Gospel, I've chosen the one less commonly known. Everyone knows the quote golden rule, here phrased as, do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Each citation of this in the Synoptic Gospels does correctly reference it as the law of the prophets, for this is from whence it came. Six of the nine prophets had spoken or written this phrase. The phrase regarding pearls and swine has, if you'll excuse the inadvertent pun, been greatly butchered over the eons, and such that it, in Victorian it became, quote, Allow not swine to step before thy pearls, else forever they be devalued, close quote. And to the joking, quote, Always allow pearls, gesturing the laity to enter, and then, quote, to enter before the swine, and then gesturing the men to enter before the compliment. But the third phrase you may have heard in the colloquial, the road to destruction is wide and paved with good intentions. This comes directly from this gospel, though some prefer to quote Proverbs 14.12 as the source for this. But the narrow gate leads to some undefined, does not lead to some undefined treasure. It doesn't give some golden pleasures. It gives life. Not any kind of life, but an eternal life for all who enter. For the gate is Christ. And by entering, by choosing to turn to walk through that gate, you've made a conscious decision. You've made an affirmative action to turn yourself and become a member of the flock within that field. For what lies within a gate? A grassy field. And why turn in there? Because you hear and recognize the voice of your shepherd calling out to you. Your soul hears his calling your name. Your heart hears and yearns for his words, his gentle caress. For you are his lamb, his you his ram, part of his flock. I am their shepherd. I know my sheep, and they know my voice. Watch for that gate. Listen for his call. Your heart knows his voice. His sheep recognize his voice. That's why we will never fall under the sway of a false prophet. For the sheep follow, never follows another shepherd, because he or she knows this isn't my true shepherd. This person doesn't even sound like my shepherd. Tell the others of the flock to beware of the false prophet, the false shepherds. There are now twenty-nine that are abusing the flock, fleecing them. All sheep know that this is the worst that can happen to them. Spread the word. There is but one shepherd, and his name is Jesus Christ. And you can't ever buy your way to Jesus. Not ever. You can't buy your way to salvation. Ever. Anyone who tells you otherwise is stealing your fleece. And they need to be reported to the police for fraud. The one true shepherd loves and cares for all of his sheep. You don't have to pay for that. If someone ever says, pay me money and you will go to heaven, they are lying and they need to be reported. Help these members of the flock being fleeced by these evil false prophets, the fake shepherds. I can name names if you need them, 
but you know who I'm talking about. I have named them many times before. Peace to with all of you, and go save the other lambs. Save the other sheep, please. Go.